Hi everybody, Ryan Balaji with Golf News Net here, and we're back to talk some grips for the 2018 season. You should be looking at getting new grips for your clubs for 2018. Get a fresh set on your 14 clubs you're going to use this year, whatever's in your bag. So you're ready to go and play with performance. Don't use two and three year old grips. They're rotting apart, feel terrible. Your hands slide all over them. It's just awful. You need to be re-gripping your clubs. Just even if you do it once a year, just do it for me. But we're talking Lampkin grips here. And they have come out with three new grips for 2018. They're introducing them at the same time. And they kind of run a range in terms of tour performance down to comfort. They use hybrid materials in a couple. They use a, a proprietary DSX material in the comfort side. We wanted to tell you a little bit about them, kind of give you a sense of the differences between them. So this is the highest end one. This is their kind of flagship grip of these releases. It's called the TS1, and this is kind of for a tour performance, tour style Grip. So they're kind of two zones here, and they use a hybrid material to make this whole thing. It's got micro texturing, so different zones of micro texturing. And this is all done with research based design so that you know, okay, well, here and here is kind of where you know, here's where your fingers are, here's where your palm is, or kind of the, where your fingers meet the palm. So that's key. And then kind of your, your palm goes down here on your, your, lower, your lower hand. So for me, you know, the right hand. And then up top, kind of have different sections, again, with that micro-texturing so that you know uh, you're going to feel stable in your grip. The thing I like about actually all three of these grips that we're going to show you here today is that they have a reduced taper. So that means you don't have to feel like you're death gripping the bottom of a club or the bottom of the grip because it feels so small. So this is perfect for people who are, are into a standard grip or into a midsize or even are considering going to that oversized grip, which I've done in the past, because primarily you feel like you're just crushing the bottom of your grip every time. That's not going to be the case with these. I actually like that about it because then I can take a little bit more relaxed grip. And then that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable over the ball, especially with those touch shots. I've used Z5s in the past and I like them for that reason. I feel comfortable with the touch clubs in my hand. So this is the TS1. It's $10 each, and it comes in standard and midsize. And this is kind of the standard issue, black with red. The next grip, which is a little bit more toward the comfort end, a little bit tackier, this is the Sonar grip. So this is $8.99 per grip. This has a little bit look, different look and feel. Again, same hybrid style materials, but a different set of kind of reminders to them. So you kind of have different zones here for where your, your fingers lie in the grip. I like that. Micro texturing throughout. And it has a little bit more tackier feel, I, to me at least, than the TS1 does. Uh, it's not necessarily as comfort attuned as the last grip we're going to show you. But I do like the blue and, and black aesthetic. Again, this is another one that comes in that standard or midsize. It has that limited taper, so you don't have to worry about that death grip especially with the shorter clubs, and frankly for the driver for that matter. And at $8.99 a piece, that's a, that's a pretty good value. But actually, here's the funny thing. You know, we've, they asked us to look at all these grips and say, you know, which one you like the most. The cheapest one is the one I like the most. So this is called the Comfort Plus. And the Comfort Plus is $7.99 per grip. And I think the thing I was drawn to about this is that it's, first of all, it is a rubber material, so a DSX material. So it's it's Lampkin's proprietary blend, but it's a traditional rubber style. And the thing I like about it is the unbuffed look. Like, you, you grab it out, and you're like, man, that's a pretty grip. And second, because it's unbuffed, it has more tack to it. So I'm not very fond of playing in the rain. And more often than not, I'm not fond of playing in the rain because my grips don't do well in the rain. They just tend not to. I have a lot of corded grips. And so when I go to those... In the rain, it's just flying off the handle everywhere, and I walk off the golf course. It doesn't feel like that would happen with this, with the, with the Comfort Plus. I really like this. Uh, it's got kind of the micro-texturing in there. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to pick that up, but micro-texturing all throughout. Similar patterns. You know, I've got more kind of tacky support in particular for the upper hand here. Not so much the lower hand, although there is that limited tapering effect. And I really just like the general look and feel of this. It's a little bit longer of a grip as well. I like that too, because more often than not, I find myself gripping like this, like where I'm at the very end, if not over the top. And that's including often having a sensor, like a, an Arco sensor, 
in the butt end of the grip. So it feels like I'm off the club. With this, I feel much more comfortable holding it the whole way and still having some room. I mean, I can even choke down a little bit, and it's not not going to feel like my fingers are on one end or the other of the grip. So these three options are, are available for the 2018 season. Again, they range in price from basically $8 a grip to $10 a grip. If you're going to go through the process of re-gripping your clubs, you want to get grips that you feel like just serve your purpose, whether that's you want tackiness, whether you want softness, which is, again, comfort plus, whether you want some kind of blend of the two, which is that sonar luck, or, or TS1, which is probably what most tour players or tour types would go toward, not necessarily feel comfortable in your hands, almost like a wrap, but feels more performance-based and has different sections specific to your hands in the way that you grip the golf club. But take a look. Let us know your thoughts on the latest Lampkin grips and tell us which ones you like the most on social media, the handle Golf News Dead on your favorite social media service. And we'll see you next time.